Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to another Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright Trilogy for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah! Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and special thanks to our friends over at Capcom for sending a copy of this amazing trilogy. Oh yeah! It's crime fighting time, ladies and gentlemen, as we continue Justice for All, the trial of sitting squirrel. Yay! Let's do this! All right. December 30th, 2.17 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number five. Man, the same guys are still there. I can't believe it. Sitting squirrel? It's pretty shocking, isn't it? It definitely is, and I think he's always the most straightforward of the group. I know, right? Man, am I that hated? Yep. <clears throat> Agro tried to pin the murder on you on purpose! He... he did? That's so mean. Psst, psst. <laughs> <coughs> but, but, I'm nothing but a little nobody, you know? But you're not! Which is kind of the reason why! Cough, hey! <laughs> hey, pal. Are you gonna ignore me? I went through all this trouble to bring you some evidence! I thought that was Keaton over there saying hey, pal. Uh, I know. Detective Gumshoe! Ah, oh, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyways. Okay. Now, now, Detective. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you relax a little bit? Uh huh? Oh, that's Maya. <laughs> We've got some really tasty milk! How about a card trick, Detective? Uh... <laughs> well, if you insist. Now, about that evidence you mentioned. What is it? Uh, here you go. Huh? This was yesterday in Acro's room. Yep, I've concluded the uh, forensic results. Take a look at it later. Okay. Won't Miss Von Karma be mad that you're doing this? Uh, that's why this is all a secret. Shh. Oh. Huh? Look, details are on a need-to-know basis, and uh, we're not really allies or anything. But everything that's happened in the court up until now has been going to according to our plan. Huh? Uh. I don't know. Miss Von Karma didn't seem in control of things there just now. You'll figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans were set in motion. Final plans? Uh, which reminds me, I've got a message from the prosecutor for you. Huh? Nothing is ever truly decided until the very end. Okay. <laughs> that's it. Uh, that's it for me, pal. I'm out of here. See ya, Detective Gumshoe. What do they mean by that, Nick? The very end part. Hmm. I'm not sure. It was pretty cryptic to me, if you ask me. Oh, and one more thing. Ah! Uh, it looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. What? For me? Uh, it's milk. The reception area looks like uh, some kind of dairy. Huh. So hurry up and drink it all before it spoils. An entire d dairy's worth of milk for me? Uh, have fun with that. Yay! December 30th, 2.27 p.m. Back to the court. And sitting squirrel still sitting. Yep. Court is now back in session. Hopefully everyone had a fun recess. Miss Van Karma, please continue from where you left off. I'd like to continue with Acro's testimony, starting with his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Acro would have had to commit this crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Flying Squirrel. Yes, Your Honor. Please proceed with your testimony. Finally, we get to the motive, Nick. Wait, are you okay? Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't uh, know the answer to. Huh? That's your gulp? Okay. That's my that's my best gulp that I have. All right, about the ringmaster. I don't think I could do a better gulp than that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing bear. Uh, when we were abandoned by our parents, he was there. That is when Happy Bear, Laughing Bear, Barry Big Circus, Russell Berry took us in. Aww. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. Hmm. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster, 
That was my sole purpose in life. So you became Robin. What? what? Oh. So you're uh, such a thoughtful young man. He's adopted and he's an acrobat. Mm -hmm. As you heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think that Acro would kill the man he held in such esteem. You're absolutely right. Brings a tear to my eye. <sighs> how could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Which is why there's no real need for a cross-examination, is yeah, there? Phoenix, how heartless of you. Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Mm. Why would Acro kill the Ringmaster? This might be my last chance to answer that question. No need to cross-examine. What? What the? There's no need to cross-examine this witness. Huh? Uh, and that's a first. Why was the Ringmaster murdered? There's no need to delve into that bit of testimony when I know the answer already. What? Huh? Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. What is it, Your Honor? I would just like to know. Can you prove, uh, provide an ex explanation as to why Acro would want the Ringmaster dead? Uh, I hope we can. Uh, no. Why would he want to kill the Ringmaster? Hmm... Nick! Yeah, I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, uh, the reason that Acro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. Nani? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all. Huh? Yeah! Your foolish attempts to fool us, like foolish fools, is so foolhardily foolish! Say what now? Did you forget? You made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was. This is the real killer of Russell Berry, Ringmaster. <laughs> if you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. The end of things? A uh, flying squirrel, or rather, sitting squirrel. <laughs> you didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? The Ringmaster wasn't your target that night. <gasps> what did you just say? Whoa. I'm saying that the target of the witness's murderous plot was not the Ringmaster. What? Because it was never his intention to kill Russell Berry to begin with. <gasps> Whoa. Order in the court. That's my line. Oh, sorry. Bailiff, I don't care who it is, smack anyone who's loud in the face twice, if you must. Ooh. Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Yo! Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to this court? I just said that, you crazy. Oh, sorry. Are you attempting to imply that Acro was trying to kill someone else? Um, I said it last time. Regina. I thought it was trying to do away with Regina because he thought she was evil. Regina Barry? This young girl is the ringmaster's daughter, correct? Uh, Flying Squirrel, you were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? Mm. Whoa. You don't need to answer that. It's a mean-spirited leading question. Hang on a second. He could easily answer this question if he wants to. If I'm wrong, all he has to say is, you're wrong. That's it. That's it, huh? Mr. Phoenix, right? Enough, Mr. Wright. Allow me to... Yeah! The only thing allowed to interrupt me is death itself. That can be arranged. What? And that goes for you, too, Mr. Phoenix, right? Show me evidence! I want to know why Acro would want to kill Regina Berry. His name is Sitting Squirrel. I'm sorry. Sitting Squirrel. Yes, yes, me too. I demand to see some proof of these accusations. Present evidence that proves Acro was out to try to kill this young girl. Well, that would be this crumpled up note. Ooh. Yes! Flying Squirrel, you remember this, don't you? His name is Shitting! Oh. That's... It's a piece of uh, paper that we found inside the Ringmaster's tailcoat. 
Inside the victim's tailcoat? Whoa. Uh, the uh, note says, ironically, it's entitled to the murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. Mm. So you're saying that he called Russell Barry with that note? Squirrel doesn't look so peaceful now. Yes, but there's just one little problem. Problem? Uh, Flying Squirrel did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. <gasps> you mean it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note is intended for was none other than Regina Barry. <gasps> oh. Whoa. Order. I will have order, Mr. Knight. This little theory of yours is getting kind of insane. It's the truth, though, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. Which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria bulletin board. Like a dunce. That's when her father, I mean, the ringmaster, saw the note? Yes, because he can read. <laughs> That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in that plaza instead of Regina. Mm. And he was killed because of that mistake. Instead of Regina. Whoa. That's, that's incredible. Remember the testimony that Acro gave us earlier today? Lifting the bust and looking out the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out the window to my death. Yep. Flying Squirrel had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza. Because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. Mm. Oh, I've got it now. Shitting Squirrel thought it was Regina down in the plaza. And that's when he left the butt fly. <gasps> Bring your claw on me. Hey, Nick! Isn't Regina listening to all of this from the audience? She is. Unfortunately, it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it! Okay. Uh, Mr. Flying Squirrel wrote this note to Regina. Yes. Foolishly foolish fool! With foolishly foolish fool ideas of foolery! You are so foolish! You've even made me sound like a foolhardy fool! Very well, Mr. Wright. If you're so sure, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Hmm, yes. Um, what about that line? Well, if the note was meant for Regina Barry, it wouldn't mean that. This note is declaring that Regina Barry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? I said you don't get it. <gasps> the ringmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza. Mm. In place of his lovely daughter. Well. Hold it right there, Mr. Wright. Oh, snap. What is this incident that is alluded to in the note? Uh, the incident six months ago. Yes. I know all about it. An incident occurred six months ago, Your Honor. And now I'm more than ready to show this court what happened at that time. It was when Flying Squirrel became Sitting Squirrel. <laughs> yes. You moron! Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has... Uh, everything in this case has its start in what happened next six months ago. Yeah. I thought I thought it was going to say started six months ago. Yeah. Really, Nick? I, uh, I think so. Well then, if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in this note? Shadow! I know! I'd certainly like to know what it is! Shut up, stop. If I can't answer that question, the judge is going to think I'm bluffing. The, conclu mm. ah, the conclusive evidence about the incident that occurred six months ago actually is... Um, uh, well, the conclusive evidence is... Let's go with the lion or maybe... The pepper? We'll try Yeah, the that pepper. was what was in the box. Um, I'm sorry, this is pepper. Ah-choo! Ah-choo! Ouch! Oh, bless you. What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix, right? Uh, 
Mr. Wright? I've got a, got a cat. Mr. Under. Wright, are you ah! paying attention? Get that cat, cat off, off your lap and pay attention to this trial. She took off my headphones. Will you stop that cat out of here? Mr. Uh, Wright, will you please stop playing with your cat and pay attention to the trial at hand? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what's going on? It isn't a joke at all. I have decisive evidence for what you asked for. W -w what do you mean? Okay, recall what the victim was trying to take from the wooden box. He was doing so because this piece of decisive evidence is what was inside. Hmm. Another unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Wright. So what exactly are you saying? Are you claiming that Regina Berry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, it's only logical conclusion you can draw. Hmm... Foolish fool, who never tires of his own foolish ways! If you're so sure, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then answer this question! Who was Regina Berry's intended victim? Uh, it would well, be... the other acrobat. This yes! Guy. Leaping Bear. I don't know. <laughs> Dim Deer. I don't know. Who's hey. this? Uh, that's Acro's younger brother, who has no cool name. Leaping Bear! Leaping Hedgehog. What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. <laughs> no, but the joke is dead. Technically, that's true. However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. Whoops. It's not a stretch to see how Acro could feel that his brother is dead. We'll name him Flying Bat. Regina, she did that to him? Do you spend your entire life dreaming up new ways to be a fool, Phoenix? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Acro's brother, Sean Dingling, I mean Flying Bat. Six months ago, he was bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. A, a lion? Regina, I mean Ms. Regina Berry, is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human being. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that. It's just not in her. Uh, all right, so uh, what happened to Akro's brother? He's not the victim of the attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory, Nick. What do you think happened to Bat was actually an accident? Uh, I'm gonna say it's more than that. Yeah. What? The lion biting Bat was no accident at all. What are you saying? You're such an amateur, Mr. Phoenix Wright. There was no way that Regina would ever incite her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being. But Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Acro's younger brother. So, I'm gonna show the scarf. Yeah. That's... that's just a scarf! Acro... I mean, sitting squirrel... Hmm? This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? That's right. And who was the one that gave the scarf to Bat? Re Regina gave it to him. Mm. Regina? There's something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. And what the, might that be, Mr. Wright? Pepper. Pepper? Pepper. Regina gave the scarf to Bat right before the accident. And she covered it with as much pepper as she could. What? <sighs> oh, I'm shoddy. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? And why is this bird pecking my face? Um, excuse me, Mr. Knight. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal, but out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um... Miss Perry gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present? Where's the crime in that? Still seems like the judge doesn't get it. <sighs> Mr. Phoenix Wright? Wasn't it said that the lion seemed to be smiling? <sighs> smiling? The lions don't smile. 
right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like it was smiling. Lions don't smile, nor am I amused. I've never heard of them smiling. However... Lion sneeze. What? 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 Leon wasn't trying to bite Bat at all. Oh my goodness. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh, the red screen. Ah! He sneezed because of the pepper all over the scarf. <laughs> Nani! I was You fool! Why does she keep saying that? Is she Shredder? She watches either a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 80s or Mr. T. You've got to be kidding me! What's the matter, Miss Van Karma? I... I... I object! For objection's sake! Mr. Phoenix Wright! You, this theory, you believe it? Oh, boy. You really intend to say that this is how this joke of an accident actually happened? Of course I do. It's the truth. The lion sneezed due to Pepper, and that's when Bat was... Well, oops. <laughs> Flying Squirrel nearly lost his brother due to this accident, or this joke, as you put it. Which is why he tried to get his revenge against Regina. You foolish idiot! <laughs> it almost does seem like a terrible joke, doesn't it? Once again, I'm impressed by your imagination, Mr. Wright. Huh? Uh... To think that there's someone who treats this accident with the respect it deserves. Are you telling me that's what I said is true? Hmm. A, a girl, flying squirrel! You don't mean, you can't mean witness! Are you confirming the defenseless claim? Mr. Wright, unfortunately, your imagination is not enough to find me guilty of murder. Uh, wh what do you mean by that there? The pepper, the scarf, the lion. I see where you're going, but it's hard to swallow. Not to mention the fact that there's an even bigger problem with your theory. And what would that problem be? The same problem it's always been. Evidence. If I drop Max's statue on top of the ringmaster... Where is the evidence that proves that claim? Hmm. Oh, uh... Mm, you mean the conclusive evidence, the murder weapon? The biggest problem is the murder weapon, or the lack thereof, to be more precise. The murder weapon? You know, the statue the defense claims was used. You came up with the idea. If it that were to be found in Acro's room, and if it was covered with the victim's blood, then that would be awfully conclusive in my eyes. Yes, it would be. Hmm. Um. Well, the statue... Nick, you've got to do something! This is the last step. If I get this one right, the case is won. Hmm. No. Um, request? I don't know. No, I don't think we should request to search his room. Let's try... Let's see how things work out first. See how things work out? Oh it my might gosh. be worthwhile to search Acro's room, but... Well, why aren't you gonna search his room, Nick? It looks like you finally figured things out, didn't you? Now you know the true meaning of the Von Karma. Total justice. I guess. I figured with you that's the least I should expect. You'd leave no stone unturned. Why am I being hit? A fun karma never leaves anything to chance. Except when you falsify evidence. We already searched Ac Acro's room yesterday. What did you find? Well, there's no reason to even say it. If we found what you think we found in that room, Acro would not be here as a witness. But to put a point on it, Max's bust was not in the room. The murder weapon is still unaccounted for. Mmm. You see, Mr. Wright, the bust wasn't in my room. For 
Furthermore, Detective Dick Gumshoe executed the search by complete surprise. And we took Acro directly to the prosecutor's office after that. Hm. End of story. Just wait a second. Something's funny about all this. <laughs> it looks like you lack the final nail to put into my <gasps> coffin. Oh my gosh, it's under his chair. What, what about the scarf? What about the note? What about them, Mr. Wright? No offense, but the only evidence that is relevant here is that which pertains to the death of the ringmaster. You should know that by now. <laughs> Something, Nick! Don't just let this key slip away! The statue! Where is it now? Mm, where's the statue now? You're Phoenix Wright! You know where that bust is! I'm sure you do, Nick! There's not even a single clue. How am I supposed to know where the statue is? That's enough! I think it's under his wheelchair! It seems that this case is coming to a close. I'm sorry, but the defense's counter-arguments look to have fallen short. Huh? Hm. Thank you for your support, Judgy. Ah! Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Wright. I think this brings an end to the cross-examination of this witness. Whoops. Maybe oh I did gosh. do it wrong. Who said that? Maya? Hold it! Where is Max's bust? The defense needs time to prepare to present its la I mean case! I'm sorry, but I'm a bit nervous and I'm I just bit my tongue. Oh. What? We need to Ah Why are you the most surprised person here? She's your aide, isn't she? Do you really have a case to present, Mr. Knight? What? Are uh, you asking me now? The rest is up to you, Nick! Good luck! Hey, wait, wait, you can't be serious! Acrobats always have their lives on the lines, don't they? That's how Acro's lived his life up until now! It's time for us to walk across our own tightrope! If we don't, we're certain to lose! That's enough! Very well, the defense may proceed! <sighs> he doesn't have a clue. And I don't think he will by finding one anytime soon. Walking to the tightrope logic, there's no room for a false step. Sink or swim, the only way through is forward. Hmm. <laughs> the murder weapon? Where is Max's best now? Somewhere? I'm gonna guess somewhere in Somewhere this in this courtroom. Yes! I think so, Luke. He's hiding it. It's obvious. The bust is inside this very cord room. It's obviously where. Allow me to pinpoint the location of the bust once and for all. The witness stand. Yes. Flying squirrel. Now sitting squirrel. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you mind if I take that blanket off your wheelchair? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Mr. Wright. Well, you are a big guy and you have a pretty big wheelchair because of it. I just wanted to make sure you weren't hiding anything under that blanket. Because it seems that it would be really easy to say, I had a bust right there. Hmm. Yup. <laughs> Once again, you... Penchant for humor, hence where it hurts, Mr. Wright. I, I don't know how that word... I, I've never heard that. I think it's pretty amazing that you can laugh in your position. However, your lightheartedness doesn't change the fact that the bust is under there. Hmm. We all know that you can't leave the lodging house by yourself in your current condition. That proved inconvenient when Miss Von Karma happened to search her room yesterday. If she had found the murder weapon in your room, it would have been all over for you. Which is why you had to hide it in the only place that you could hide it. Under your wheelchair. Hmm. Which is why, Acro, I have to ask you again, Sitting Squirrel. 
Would you please remove the blanket from your lap? Well done, Mr. Wright. Masterfully played. What? <laughs> you! You fool! How could you? That's funny. You've got me. I've been bagged by a real pro. Actually, two of them. Two of them? Miss Francisca Von Karma and Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? There's just one thing I'd like to know. How did you know to launch the surprise search on my room last night? <coughs> there were two pieces of decisive evidence, the cloak and the bust. I burned the cloak in my room and threw the ashes away with the trash. Regina always took my trash out every morning, you know. But the bust, obviously I couldn't throw that away. When you executed your search, all I could do was try and hide the bust. Hmm. And the only place that I could hide it quickly was under this wheelchair. Miss Van Karma, you had things all figured out, didn't you? I was completely sucked in by your calculated strategy. And now to be caught in the middle of a court hiding the murder weapon. There's no way I can escape that. Hmm, sad squirrel. So, you've got me, Mr. Wright. Well done, Miss Von Karma. It makes sense now! I can't believe that Von Karma thought that far ahead! It's amazing, Nick! Uh-huh, you definitely couldn't tell by looking at her. I know, I sure wouldn't. I can't believe it! Me! Make a mistake! Why did I order a supply... Pr su ah, surprise search of your room! If only I hadn't done that! You wanted him to get away with it? It seems we've finally arrived at the truth. Flying sitting squall! Yes, Your Honor. Did you kill the ringmaster of the Barry Big Sarkash, Mr. Russell Barry? By accident, Your Honor. I am responsible for that crime. Flying Squirrel! Mm. All my brother wanted was for Regina to like him. That's why he teased her. One day, my brother sprinkled some pepper on Regina. She started sneezing so hard, you couldn't help yourself from laughing. That's why Regina thought it would be funny to get him back in the same way. That's why she covered the scarf with pepper. I know she didn't mean for anything bad to happen. I know this. She just wanted to make my brother sneeze a couple times. But I just couldn't forgive her no matter what. Mm. What I'm truly guilty of, I'm guilty of never ever being able to understand her. Your brother became a star, Regina believes in, that so purely, that she could laugh innocently when saying it, too, so innocently. I just couldn't stand it, no matter how hard I tried. That's when you decided to do something about Regina. How dreadful! So you're saying that you are a victim in all of this as well? No, that's not what I mean. I'm nothing but a murderer. That's who I am. No flying squirrel. At first, I thought I'd kill myself. Then I pondered giving myself up. But I couldn't just stand up and leave. I couldn't, not yet. That's why I tried to pin this on Max. Max, I'm so sorry. Max. I just couldn't up and leave yet. Old oh, feels. I need a tissue. This has been such a strange case. One would call it a circus. Mm -hmm. It's a reflection of the circus itself. Yeah. I'm... I'm an idiot. I can't believe it. You beat me again. I believe this case is now beyond any point of possible discussion. Thus, I'd like to declare my verdict. The feels... Not guilty. I think Sitting Squirrel needs a home. Wait, how did he get on the stand again? I don't uh, know. Ah, whatever.
This court is adjourned. We will have a trial for flying squirrel another day. Mm. That would be really bothersome to just have her being like, Your brother became a star! <laughs> yeah. When she, like, literally was the reason for his death. F fabulous To be honest, I can't really be too happy about this. Um, a flying squirrel, the ringmaster, Regina, and the bat! Not a single one of them was a bad person inside! Oh. That's a good question. And one I don't know the answer to. Huh, Mike, many congratulations, oh. but only at Maximilian of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. I think the clown was always. Oh, uh, what's with this vibe in this room? We're just thinking about sending Squirrel. No, 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 no. Uh, if you worry about people too much, then you'll be like this forever and never be happy. Huh? <laughs> She's been like this for a while now. <laughs> it's all my fault! <laughs> sweetie, sweetie pie. Regina! Mr. Wright! Tell me something! What do you want to know, Regina? Akro said that something right at the end! I just couldn't up and leave yet. Does that mean that Akro... Is he gonna try to get his revenge on me? I don't think so. He's not gonna do that to you, Regina. Yep, Acro doesn't have any desire for revenge anymore. If that's true, then I want to see some evidence! <laughs> huh? I want to know you're not just making up this stuff about Acro not wanting revenge on me! Yeah! It was all for his little brother. Acro didn't want to get caught for a reason. He wanted to see his brother open his eyes again. Gina, he's still alive, you know? Uh, I never knew! But now that Akro's been caught... Sitting Squirrel! Uh-huh. I know, I know! What? I'll do it! I'll stay next to Bat as long as it takes! Until he opens his eyes! And then, until he can meet Akro again in jail! That's so sweet of you, Regina, and also a bit... bizarre. <sighs> I'm sorry, Akro. I'm sorry, Bat. Well, hopefully this is enough to give her a little peace of mind. Hey, Max! What is it, Mo? Uh, we really put you through a lot, didn't we, buddy? I'm sorry about what happened. So whenever you'd like to leave us, I'll pay your fee and rip up the contract. Oh, I understand. What a fabulous thing to do for me. I might even leave tomorrow. <laughs> What's going to happen to the circus now? Uh, that's the big question. Our ringmaster was really an amazing person, wasn't he? Hmm. Uh, even though he's not here anymore, everyone's sticking together. The staff, the performers, no one wants to leave the circus. That's why I've made a decision. What is that? I've decided that I will take over as the new ringmaster. No! I'll turn the circus into the best circus this world has ever seen. The scariest one. The best circus the world has ever seen. D don't laugh. That's quite the goal, clown. Yay! I can't wait! Then I guess that changes things. Huh? There's only one thing the best circus of the world has, and will ever need. The world's best illusions. Which means the circus needs the best magician the world has ever seen. Max. Let's work together and make our circus super fabulous! What do you say, big guy? 
Well, I don't know what to say. All I can say is thank you. Oh. Um, Regina, you're gonna help them out too, aren't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe the circus would be better off without me. What are you talking about, Regina? Why would I think that? I brought you to the courtroom today for a reason. We've got to work together to make Barry Big Circus bigger than it's ever been. Mo. <laughs> Mo's right, sweetie pie. It can't be Barry Big Circus without Regina Barry. M Max. Nick. It seems like oh. It sorry. seems like everything is gonna turn out all right here, Maya. Yeah, I was just gonna say that, Nick. I can't wait to see the best circus the world has ever seen. Well, save you the most fabulous seats. It'll take us a while to get ready, but I'm gonna order special whoopee cushion seats. <laughs> no. Yes. And... I see. What made the case? Uh, yesterday's surprise raid. It really paid off, just like you said it would, sir. Uh, you had it all figured out, didn't you? It was just a theory. <gasps> oh my gosh! If Acro really was the killer, I thought this was the only way it could end. Especially if he was the defense attorney. Uh, you mean Mr. Wright? Someone behind the scenes? What's going on? Of course. Well, detective, my plane is about to leave. James As for Bond. Mr. Acro's case, you need not worry. I plan to personally stop by the chief prosecutor's office as soon as I get back. <gasps> what? Uh, understood, sir. I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Edgeworth. <gasps> Edgeworth! What? Bomb, bomb, bomb! Episode 3, Turnabout Big Top. End. The end. The return of Edgeworth! A brand, episode, uh, brand new episode has been added. Farewell, Yay! my turnabout. Yeah. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, that does it for today's episode of Ace Attorney. Join us tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the next exciting episode of Ace Attorney Justice for All. Are you satisfied with today's ending, or did you think it was going to go another way? Let us know in the comment section below. Until then, God bless and happy gaming. <laughs>